How's everyone doing? Mm. Hello, Fritzner. You're in, is that Haiti? I hope things are good in Haiti. I, I heard things are not good right now. I hope you're, you're okay, my friend. From what I heard, things are pretty, pretty uh, out of control right now. Hello, Cham Cham. Good morning, Leonardo. Hello, Jesse. Jesse already wants to talk to me. So, uh, the difference between buy and purchase. There is no difference between buy and purchase. I want to buy this thing. I want to purchase this thing. Same thing. They're synonyms. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Jesse. Hello. Hello, nice Jesse. To meet nice to meet nice you too. To meet you, How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Though. And you? How um, was your day? Uh, well, it's morning here, so it would, my day is oh, just starting. Morning. Yeah, I'm in America. So. Yeah, uh, we are the opposite. Yeah, it's night. That's right. We are in midnight in our if, country. If you're the same time as Beijing, then it's 12 hours different. So it's 9.56 a.m. here. Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. in Beijing. Uh, I study in Beijing, but now I work in Shanghai. Ah, but it's the same time zone. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> So, what would you like yeah. to talk about? Do you have a question for me or something I can help you with? Or did you just want to chat? Uh, I think well, I, we can talk about everything. Maybe you can lead me. I can lead you. Okay, so you're in Shanghai. Yeah. And what do you do in Shanghai? Uh, to be honest, I'm uh, international sales. Okay. All right. Why do you seem yeah. embarrassed by that? What's wrong with international sales? <laughs> Because you know, uh, in this job, I will experience experience more wonderful things, and I have many chances to go around the uh, go or uh, travel around the different countries. Okay, so where have you traveled? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I have to go to another country. I just travel in our country. Oh. maybe Qingdao, uh, Beijing, Shanghai. Yeah. Okay, so all around China. But you yeah, do international all... business, so will you get a chance to go to other countries sometime? Mm, maybe in the future. If uh, I have a chance, I will go out to uh, go. Uh, I will travel around the other country. You know, my customer is, uh, 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 is uh, are from different countries. Okay, and what do you guys sell? There are um, some about uh, uh, autom automation products. Automation products. Okay. Well, that's going to be yeah. a big business soon, I think. It's already yeah, a big it's business. A big yeah. But, yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's going to get bigger. Okay. And what, yeah. do, what do you like to do for fun? For fun? Um, I'm not for fun. Just now, I, uh, I just want to... Uh, uh focus on my work you know i just finished my uh, study uh so i want to focus on my work to earn more money okay. just for money <laughs> then i have enough money then i have more uh free time and to enjoy some interesting things so first thing is to earn money all right okay and uh, let's see, tell me, what kind of foods do you like to eat? Do you have any favorite foods? Um, I like everything. Yeah. I think food is the best, the best things in the life, so I love all. 
Okay, so can you tell me some favorites? Do you do you have any favorite foreign foods? Uh, foreign food? Yeah, 外国的食物. 外国的食物, foreign food. All things, to be honest. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so do you cook? Um, do cook? Yeah, do you ever cook or do you always buy food out from a restaurant? Um, right. Oh, I, I cook. Yeah, I cook okay. for myself. Uh, okay. uh, do some simple. Do some simple food. Uh, maybe make some noodles. Um, uh, make some. Uh, uh, it's all about simple. Simple things. Simple things. things. All for right. myself. All right. Yeah. Oh, um, make some soups. Okay. In English, we have a phrase. We say some people eat to live, and some people live to eat. <laughs> I, <can't, laughs> I don't understand this. To eat to live just means you're just eating something just to give you energy. But to live to eat oh. means you love food and you like to try lots of foods and you like delicious things. So f trying foods is one of your hobbies and interests. But if you just eat to live, then you're just eating anything just to have food, you know? Oh, you know, I got, I got it. I yeah. got it. So, so some people, people eat to live, live and some people, people live to eat. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, I agree. Well, I agree with you. Some questions. Questions. Do you have any questions you want to ask me? Uh, 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 it's uh, my first time to ask you uh, your room. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I saw there are some instruments uh, uh, behind you. I'm I, a drummer. Uh, Gushou. What? I'm a drummer. A drummer? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, I'm an English teacher, but I'm also a drummer, and uh, I used to be a cook also. So I, I like to cook food, and I like to play music, and I like to teach. Oh. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. You so enjoy your life. Well, everybody should enjoy their life. You only have one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, you know, uh, to be honest, uh, in different uh, countries, um, most of people need to earn, uh, to make money to live themselves first. Maybe for some rich person, they they can enjoy life and enjoy some interesting things. But for most people, uh, they need to just to uh, uh, to work just to uh, live themselves. Yeah, but I have a different way of looking at life because I don't think mm. you should wait until you're rich to have time. I think time yeah. is the most valuable thing you have. So yeah. uh, the way I look at it is the money that a company pays you, It's the, that's the money that they pay to rent your time. And yeah. so uh, mm. I think it's very important to think about time being more valuable than money. And sure, we like to think, let's put it this way, everybody in America used to think the way you do also, that you have to make money, make yeah. money, make money, and then later when I'm older, then I'll have time. But then we found out that that's not true because if you spend your whole life working to make money, by yeah. the time you have money, you're old and you can't do anything. <laughs> so yeah. you're too old yeah, to I go do anything. You. So, so that's why you need to try to do some things now. Even if you're not rich, you can still do a lot of things. You just have to yeah. find things that don't require that much money. Or you have to understand that your time is much more valuable than just the money that they pay you. It's not worth it, yes. to yes. be honest. <laughs> Especially because life is getting shorter and shorter these days. Uh, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, look what happened with COVID. COVID changed mm. everyone's life. And so mm. nobody was expecting that. And a lot of people had to change their complete lives because of COVID. And that could happen again tomorrow. That could happen again tomorrow. Another big thing could happen again tomorrow. Uh, that would change everybody's life. And so when we put so much value on, you know, work, 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 make money, make money, make money, and you think that you're going to have time later, but you don't know if you're going to have time later. 
you don't know. Yes. You're, you're assuming that you will have time later. So I just don't assume I'm going to have time later. I think I'm only going to have time now. <laughs> so I yeah. need to do anything I can now as you know, while I have the energy and the ability, you know, yeah, that's what Ali said. Yeah, you spend your whole time trying to make money, but then when you're old, you're you're old and sick and you can't walk. And so what are you going to do now? <laughs> you know, like, yes. you, so All right. All you right. have to think about that. You a know? good lesson. It's a good lesson that's to, uh, right. for me. Money is important, but time is more important. And you only get one life. So don't wait to do things later. Try to figure out how you could do them now. You know, if you want to travel yes. to another country, go travel to another country. It's not that expensive. Okay, but now I have the money. Well, <laughs> I need to make money to buy the Okay, but you live uh, in China. Tickets. There are lots of places that you could travel to near China that are not expensive. Have you ever been to the, well, you said you haven't been to another country, but like the Philippines, Philippine. Yeah. That's not an yeah. expensive place to go to. I've been there and it's wonderful. It's great. It's Ooh, cheap. Oh, yeah. And Thailand, Taiguo, also cheap. Thailand. You can go there and you can have a wonderful vacation and not spend a lot of money. Vietnam, Yunnan, they're also cheap. Oh, yeah. And you can I, I go know. there and have a great vacation <laughs> and not spend a lot of money. So go. <laughs> yeah, I will go. I will go. Yeah, think about it, really. I will China make some plans. Yeah, really. There are so many countries that are near China that are not expensive to go to, you know. So yeah, you should have. Mm -hmm. You should have to. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need had to make some plans to enjoy life and relax myself. Yeah. Not for work. Not mm -hmm. just for work. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you only get one life, and you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So you can't assume yeah. that you're gonna just uh, oh well, I'll save money, and then maybe when I'm fifty, I can go you know travel. No, you don't know if fifty is gonna be there. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And again, yeah, and if you can't go to other countries, travel more in China. There's lots of things to see in China too. Yeah, but not in for China work. there are so many different, uh, uh, yeah, so many uh, interesting uh, places. Uh, yeah. uh, what uh, where I uh, where I can go? Yeah, it's, it's like very beautiful. America. And right, it's America not very is very big, and and so is China, and there's a lot to see in America. Most Americans have not traveled to other countries either. And it's because mm -hmm. there's so much to see here that you can just travel around here and see everything here first, you know? So we have 50 states, and I have been to 39 of them. And my, my mm -hmm. nephew and my brother, they've been to all 50 states. You know, your nephew, yeah, you my, have my nephew. nephews and my niece, yeah, they've been to all 50 states uh, in the United States, which is amazing. So, but I used to live in Taiwan, I lived there for four years, and um, when I was there, it was a great way to. There were many places I could travel to. I went to Hong Kong many times, it was wonderful in Hong Kong, and uh, I've been to mm. have you been to China? Not to mainland, no. Just to not just to man to, like yeah, and then I've uh, maybe I went to the no, Philippines. There are so many interesting places here. Yeah, I, I plan to. I plan to eventually. Yeah, I have some plans to go to That's Europe fun. maybe soon. Next, I'm gonna go to Europe first. I haven't been to Europe ever, and I have many friends there, so I want to go to visit my friends in Europe, and then maybe you I'll just see. For, you just for three? Uh, yeah. Well, see. Now, what I've decided is that I want to make my work my my enjoyment. So mm, yeah. what I do is I teach English and I teach online here. And because I have so many friends around the world, I will go travel to meet them from my HelloTalk friends. So I have about, I think it's almost 65,000 followers. I'm aware of your HelloTalk right. yes. so friends. when I come to, you know... Uh, uh, China, I'll go to Shanghai. I have some students in Shanghai, 
And so, yeah, yeah. when I come, I'll, I'll tell everybody on Hello Talk, hey, I'm in Shanghai, come see me, you know, <laughs> and, and yeah, you can show me around your city and stuff. But yeah, so what I'm trying to say is sometimes you have to find a way to make your work your pleasure. Yeah. You know, if in a, we have a saying, we say, if you love what you do, then you never work a day in your life. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's why this is now my work and it's difficult work. It's it, I know it seems easy, but there's a lot that I have to do to do all this. And uh, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to make enough money to be able to travel to see all my friends. So that way, my work is my pleasure. It's both. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. I think uh, uh, the uh, international sales is the same. I can um, yeah. uh, go to uh, yeah. a trip and I can uh, be in us. That's right. That's right. International sales is a great job where you can travel around and enjoy yourself, too. But I know many people who have jobs where they have to travel and because the business, uh, they don't let them have any free time when they're traveling. So maybe you travel to Japan, but then, then you're, you're only there for three days and then you have to fly back and they don't let you have any free time. That's not good. The you time need... is so short. It's so tight. Right. That's right. So you have to make plans to say, okay, well, I'll go there for three days, but then I'm also going to have three days to myself. You know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe more than a week. At least a week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least, least a week. Uh, leave, uh, leave a few days for, for yourself. That's right. That's just right. Leave a few days for yourself. That's right. Yeah. I have a friend, uh, one, of my, one of my students is planning to come to Las Vegas in America for business. And same thing. She doesn't have very much time. You know, the business trip is here and then she's gone. And that's terrible. That's almost like torture when you send somebody around the world and you don't let them have one or two days to just look around and enjoy themselves. Every company yeah. should think about that. If you really want your workers mm -hmm. to be happy, if you send them to a place, you know, for business, give them a day. Give them a day. That's good experience for them. It's good experience for them to, uh, you know, know the culture better and to understand the place better, make more connections. Guanxi, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, Jesse, it was really nice to talk to you. I'm going to see if I can talk to a few other people here today. But oh, thank it's you for okay. Coming. It's okay. Nice to talk to yeah, you. Yeah. And make sure you follow Bye -bye. my channel and come back and see me again. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, See bye you next time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did I miss any comments? Hello, Miguel. Good to see you. Uh, if you don't know, I have a YouTube channel, and I'm on it live right now. So if you want to, you can follow my YouTube channel. And there's no time limit on YouTube, so you won't get kicked out or anything. Uh, let's see. Thank you for the gifts, everyone. <clears throat> Coffee. All right. Uh, hello, Mr. Science. <clears throat> Good morning, Lena. Good to see you again. How are you, my friend? Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Sarah and Iman. Hello. Okay, who else wants to talk to me? Raise your hand if you want to come on my stage. One moment, please. Oh, my neck is killing me today. Hello, Kim and Visita. That's a cool name. I like that name. Uh, today, Iman, I'm just talking with people. I want to let people have some time to chat. So this is a conversation class. 
<clears throat> Next week, I'm going to plan uh, some more topics for my my live streams. But for today, it's just a free chat, you know, so you can ask me any questions you have about English or grammar or life or anything you want. Or if you just want to talk with me and ask me some questions or whatever, anything is fine. Okay. For which level will my will my classes be? Uh, well, most of my classes are for intermediate to advanced students. Not, uh, I don't really do too much for beginners uh, here, because most of my students and most of my followers are adults who already have some English that they've learned, and they're just looking to improve it more. Okay, let's talk to Susan. Susan, you want to come talk to me? Raise your hand if you want to come talk with me. Oh, hello, my daughter Susan. want to talk with me. Oh, hello. hello. What is your name? Nice to meet you. My name is Claire. Claire. Well, that's a pretty name. And how old are you, Claire? Yeah. Five years old. Wow, five years old, and you speak English already. Wow, <laughs> he is learning English. He wow. is learning English. Okay,、yeah. all right. And、yes. tell me, where do you live? You live in China. In where? What city? Are you in Beijing? What city? Yeah, we live in Beijing,、oh. Hainan District. Okay. All right. And tell me. Claire, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. What do you like to do for fun?、Mm. Play with your friends. Play with your friends. Play with your friends. You like to play with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what do you do when、yeah. you play with your friends? Do you play games? I'm going to. Yes. Yes. Okay. And tell me about.、Uh, What is your、uh, your favorite food? Do you have a favorite food? Carrot. Carrots. <laughs> oh wow! You、yeah. like carrots? Wow. <laughs> She likes carrot very very much. Yeah, I think、yes. so. And how did you learn English so well, so soon? Your English, English is, is really good. good. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> wow! I, I think, think you must, must be very smart. smart. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. And tell me, do you like music? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What, do you like to listen to music with your with your mom? Oh yes. Okay. Good. And do you want to ask me a question? You can ask me a question. Yes. Okay. 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 Do you? What is your birthday? What is your birthday? My birthday is in September. September. Yeah. My birthday is in September. September too. Oh wow! We have the same、oh. birthday. Wow, that's amazing. That's great. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> okay.、And、do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Um. Yes. Okay. Shang Yi Shang. Another question. What? Um. <laughs> 都可以问，都可以。Hmm. 你可以问一个别的问题。Do you know where I live? No. <laughs> Can you guess? What do? You, where do you think I live? 你想想他在哪儿？嗯。Live in China. No,、oh. I live in America. <laughs> yeah, I live in、oh. America. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's in America. Your Chinese is amazing. Ah,、uh, it's not that good. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. She, she is. He's we are going to sleep. Yeah, I think it's very <laughs> so it's late. So it's so sleepy.、There. Yeah, tonight is yeah, very yeah. late there. Right here,、yeah. it's morning. It's morning here where I、oh. live. Yeah. So in your time, it's ten eighteen p.m. Wan Chang, but here is ten eighteen a.m. Zhao Shang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
嗯 ，in America、yeah. is in a morning. That's right. Night. Yeah, there is night. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think you need、yeah. to go to bed. You need to sleep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 是的。<laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, it was wonderful see you next to talk、time. to you. Your English is so good. Good job. I'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Wow, so cute, and wow, five years old, and she can speak like that already. That's amazing. <sighs> Pay attention, everybody. Pay attention. Uh, Flavia. Uh, yeah. For now, I'm going to do three times a week. Yeah, for now. We'll see if I do more later, but、uh, I need to. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing too much, and so I get burned out, and so it's just too much to prepare for and to set up. And so, yes, for right now, it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, let's see. Yes, Anna, I agree. How can I? All right.、Uh, who else wants to talk to me? We've got、uh, Fahima. Fahima in Iran. Fahima, you want to come talk to me? Hmm. Hello, Fahima. Are you there? Let's try again. Okay. Well, I guess Fahima is not there. So let's try Mustafa. Hello, Mustafa. Hello. Do you hear me?、Mm -hmm. How are you, my friend? Thank you. I'm good. What about you? I'm good. I'm a little tired. It's morning. I don't like morning. Morning doesn't like me. But、oh. <laughs> but I'm but okay. <laughs>、um, but you know, I'm so energetic in the morning, but. You know, at noon I'm so tired. Yeah, see,、But、that's that's kind of like me too. Like if I have to wake up early in the morning, then in the afternoon I'm、mm -hmm. so tired. But at night, I, I'm a night person, so I, I'm I'm pretty energetic at night. Actually, I do most of my work at night. Yeah, I'm early in the morning and late at the night. I'm so energetic, but between two, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, and Mustafa, you're in Iran. What city are you in? Are you in Tehran or where are you? I live in Tehran. Yeah,、okay. I live in Tehran. All right, and what do you do?、Uh, I'm kind of lawyer. Oh, you're a kind、you、of、know. lawyer. All right, that's cool. All right, and、uh, yeah. do you have any questions you want to ask me, or something I can help you with today? Yeah, you know, I ha I have problem with W H question. Every time that I wanna ask a question, I should think. You know,、mm -hmm. I I have a problem with that part of, and also with phrasal verb. Okay, I can. Yes,、yeah, phrasal verbs、company. are are tricky because there is no secret to phrasal verbs. There is no trick for learning them. Phrasal verbs are what I call improvised language. Which means that、mm -hmm. there's no rule. It's just one day somebody decided that I'm going to put these words together, you know,、uh, and that、yeah. means this now, you know.、Um, so because they're improvised language, there's no real method to learning them,、um, except the only thing that I can recommend is、um, you can try to learn them in groups, right? So, for、mm -hmm. example. Uh, all of the the phrasal verbs that have the word get, you know, get up, get out, get in, you know, or、uh, you know, try to group them together.、Uh, pull, you know, pull up, pull out, pull forward, pull, you know, all those things like that. Try to see if you can learn those together in that way, and also just learn a few at a time, you know, just like idioms. I kind of teach my students to learn phrasal verbs the same way that they learn idioms. Choose a few each day or a few each week, and try to use them until you understand how to use them. And you have to try to write them and say them as much as you can. 
And so what was your other question? It was about uh, WH question. The WH question. I have another question. Yeah. Okay, so it, who, what, it, when, where, why? It takes a lot of time for me. You know, before that, every time I want to ask WH question, make the sentence with them, I should think a little bit, and I think it hurts my fluency. I have a problem with that part. Hmm. What, you know, there is any a special technique do you to mean like you, you're not sure which one to use or what why do you need time to think about it for example you you said that why do you why do you need time okay mm -hmm. i thinking to myself should i add the do to that sentence i don't know ah. after which word should i use i thinking for that part you know ah okay so, so the, the problem is, is how to form the sentence structure for, for questions yeah yeah okay yeah. well um let, let me see, see if, if I, I have a good page that can help you with that let me see one moment yeah because that is something that some people have trouble with but mustafa what i would say is my first advice would be don't worry about it okay if mm -hmm. you're worried about it then you're going to get more nervous and then it's going to make it worse but yeah. uh so put, put it put it this way if you say why do you need to or why you need to why mm. you need to is not correct but everybody will understand you still yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, understand? So yeah, yeah. It's better to just say something that's maybe not perfect and then you can yeah. learn from that instead of not saying anything and getting confused or frustrated cuz you're not sure of perfect, right? So sometimes grammar this is one reason why I I I really tell everybody that grammar is not important because you worry about grammar so much that it makes you afraid to speak or you're nervous that it's not going to be correct so you don't speak well. So I tell everybody, forget about the grammar rules and just speak because communication is the purpose of language, not perfection, right? Mm -hmm. And we want to improve. Of course we want to improve, but it's better to improve from your mistakes than to not have enough practice because you're afraid to speak at all, right? And that's what happens yeah. with people with grammar. Sometimes they're so worried about grammar that they're afraid to speak so they don't get enough practice and then they don't really improve. But if you're, if you're not afraid to speak and you just say it as, you know, whatever comes to your mind, just say it as, yeah. as well as you can. And then... Mm -hmm you can try to learn from your mistakes if you make them or if somebody doesn't understand you they will tell you and then you can work it out but it's language is a process it's not perfection so uh just say what you can and what i would suggest mustafa is you should try to create a little uh, practice system for yourself of questions that you can ask um Mm -hmm. And you can practice this almost the way a chess player does, uh, where a chess player, when you play the game chess, the masters yeah. of chess, they play the white pieces and then they turn the board and then they play the black pieces and then they turn the board and play the white pieces. And so they play by themselves, mm -hmm. right? So you can do the yeah. same thing. Write down a series of questions. Who, what, when, where, why, how questions. And then answer them. You know, like, so you have to write the question and you have to write the answers and uh, mm -hmm. or not even write the answers. Just say them. Write the questions, though. That way you can try to formulate the proper sentence structure when you write it. And writing is funny because uh, don't use a keyboard to do it. Don't use your phone. Write it with a pencil. There are many studies that show that. If you actually write something down, mm -hmm. you, you're more likely to remember it. But if you just type it, it's not likely that you're going to remember it, You unless you type it many, many times. So writing, there's something about writing that is more effective for remembering mm -hmm. what to do, right? So uh, let's see yeah. here.
here is a good um, page about this, the WH question word. So the, the structure of a question is usually uh, the WH question word plus an auxiliary verb plus the subject plus a main verb plus the object or other information. So for example, if I say Nathan is playing in the park, uh, or Nathan is playing basketball in the park, right? Let's say Nathan yeah. is playing basketball in the park. The question would be, who is playing basketball in the park, right? So you can yeah. practice it like that. Write a sentence that says a statement and then figure mm -hmm. out how could I turn that into a question, right? So so yeah. uh, this is a good link that you can try. Mm-hmm. One moment. It's from a good website called Fluent U, Fluent University. Uh, let's see. Copy link. So this is a good link where they explain the WH questions really well, and they give you some thank ideas you of, of what you can do to practice, okay? Okay, thank you very much for sharing that. Yeah, you're welcome, yeah. And sometimes you just need more practice with that stuff. And this is a great way to do it, is think of how do I turn this statement into a question? So I like mm -hmm. to eat pizza. What's a question you can ask me about that statement? Uh, I like to eat pizza. That's my statement. Now I want what, you to ask. What do you like to eat? What do you like? What do you like to eat? Yeah. What do you like to eat? Or where? Where do you like to get pizza? Very good. To buy pizza. Or, uh, which kind of pizza do you like? Very good. See, this is that's exactly what you need to do. Yeah. You just need statements yeah, just... and then try to pivot from the statement into a question, right? Pivot means to turn, yeah, yeah. right? So, um, yeah. you know, why do you like pizza? Where do you get pizza? What kind of pizza do you mm -hmm. like? Yeah, all of those are good questions, right? Um, let's try one more. How about if I say, um, uh, let's see, I love to play the drums. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you like play drums? Okay, why do you like to play the drums? Or why do you like playing the yeah. drums? Okay, or... Are, uh, are, you, are you good at playing drums? Good, yeah, no? that's another good one. Okay. Uh, how long do you... How, how long have you been practicing? Playing Very good. Uh, see, and you figured it out. You corrected yourself. You said, how, how long have you, how long did you, yeah, you corrected yourself. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah the, exactly. The problem is here. I, I think, you know, I should think I'm not fluent to asking WS question. Okay, okay well, well, let, let me, me ask, ask you this question, question Mustafa. How, how many times have you done this exercise? A hundred uh, times? Zero. Zero. Well, you know, then, that, then yeah. sometimes, Mustafa, what you need to understand is that practice, your definition of practice is the incorrect definition. Okay? So yeah. what I tell everybody is I ask them, how many times have you done it? When somebody tells me, oh, I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm not good at this, I ask them, how many times? Did you do it 10 times? Did you do it 100 times? And my answer to them is, if you haven't done it a thousand times, then you haven't done it. Yeah. And that yeah, means yeah. that you have to understand, as a drummer, to practice drums, to become good at that, you have to practice not just one time, you have to practice thousands of times to get better, right? Mm -hmm. So if my student comes to me th the next week and they're still not good, I know they didn't practice because if you practice, you will get better. You will. So you, you have know, to force yeah. yourself to understand that the amount of repetition that you need is a lot more yeah. than you think. Yeah, you know, I, I, I was thinking to myself that it is better to learn English in a natural way like uh, for example how a child learning 
he, uh, his or her mother tongue. Sure. So, but the problem is, Mustafa, because, uh, that's that's those are different things to learn, right? So, for example, how do I learn these questions? Do I learn them in school? Yeah, kind of, but not really. I learn them through mm -hmm. my environment, which means yeah. if I ask something, you know, if I ask my mom a question in the wrong way, she'll correct me. Mm -hmm. If I ask my father a question in the wrong way, he'll correct me. My brother, same thing. They'll correct me. My environment will do yeah. that for me. But you don't have that. So you have to find a way to substitute that same level of correction. And the way you can do that is with repetition. Okay, so yeah. grammar, any kind of grammar repetition. question yeah, that you yeah. need to work uh, on, you, know. you need more repetition. Just repetition, repetition, repetition. A lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm interested in a storybook. And can they help to improve my speaking skill? Or they are just good, for example comprehensive reading or something like no, that. No, of course, yeah. No, yeah. reading is good for your speaking, too, because when you read, mm -hmm. you get to see how other people speak or how other people write their yeah. words so that you know how to formulate those same kinds of sentences. Reading is good yeah, for your comprehension. It's good for your vocabulary. It's good for your understanding of sentence structure uh, and mm -hmm. your grammar, you know? Uh, yeah. So reading is excellent. And Mustafa, when people ask me what's the best way to learn English, my answer is always every way is the best way. Your brain is a complicated, complicated machine, and it doesn't want something one way. It wants it every way you can present it. So when mm -hmm. I try to learn something, I want books and videos and apps and friends and family and uh, videos or I mean, uh, live streams and podcasts and everything that I can get my hands on. I want them. OK. So, yeah, yeah. And every one of those will help each other in some way. Right. So reading will help your speaking. Speaking will help your reading. Yeah. Okay. And is there any priority? Because uh, I'm thinking I'm planning to improve my writing. So but sometimes I say to myself, it is better to uh, get fluent in speaking at first. After that, you can start or, you know, what's your suggestion? Should I practice them simultaneously or, you well, know, at first? My answer my... is it depends on your priorities. Like, what, why are you learning language, right? Some people are learning language to pass the IELTS test, but some people are just learning for conversation. And if that's the case, then speaking is the most important thing to work on, right? So that's mm -hmm. one way to consider it is what are your priorities in language learning? Why are you doing this and what is your goal? So I speak Chinese, right? And I did study it, but I'm not that interested in really learning how to hand write Chinese. I did learn it a long time ago. I learned it a few years back, but it's not that important to me. I can type it and that's all I need. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, and then the other way to always look at learning is focus on your weaknesses. If you want to yeah. get better at something, you can't get better if you keep working at the thing you're already good at. You know, you have to work yeah. at the things that you're not good at. And that's something that many people don't do. Don't do. 90 percent. 90 percent of students, they focus on the they things they're already good at. Because it makes them feel good, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you work on things that yeah. are hard, it frustrates us, and so we don't like to do that. But the yeah. best students and the ones who learn the best are the ones who focus on their weaknesses, not on their strengths. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. So it's whatever fun, you yeah. think you're not good at, that's what you need to spend time on, unless... You have to think about your priorities, like I said. You know, like, what are your priorities? If mm -hmm. writing is not a big priority for you because you don't think you're going to need it, mm -hmm. then you can spend some time on it, but maybe it doesn't need to be a big priority. You can focus mostly mm -hmm. on your speaking or whatever is a priority for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay? But your English is Thanks. really good, so don't worry.
Thank you. It's kind of you. Thank you very much. And you know, another problem when I uh, watch video on YouTube, you know, native speaker, even for example, talking about politics or serious problem, they use a lot of bad words. You know. Oh yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> is, it, is it? For example, imagine I move to USA. Is it appropriate in the workplace to use those no, words? Or, or no, no, definitely show? not. Not in the workplace. Why? No, Why do they not. use those words? Okay, words? Well, you have to understand something about YouTube. YouTube is just videos of anybody it's not mm -hmm. special people who are really good at you know they're not teachers they're not there to be good now mustafa it's just like the internet okay there's a lot of bad stuff on the internet but there's also a lot of good stuff and you have to be the one to try to not push you know not not look at the the good or the bad stuff and focus on the good stuff you know and remember that everybody that's how the internet works the more you watch the bad stuff the more bad stuff we're going to get the more you focus on the people who are doing positive good things the more positive good things we will get that is how the internet works so, so support, support the, the people who do positive things, things all right? right? Now, you yeah. have to remember, YouTube is just videos for the masses. Means That means it's just anybody yeah, can do anything at any time. And so, yeah, there are lots of people who use bad language on there. But there are lots of people who don't. So you have to find them. And if you find somebody who's not speaking in a way that you like, then don't watch them. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But there are people who are good. You just have to be a little bit more uh, selective, you know? Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that language, I'm not going to say that we don't use that language. We do use that language, but... It, it, we have to know where's appropriate to do that, right? Yeah. So if I'm with my friends, sure. Do I ever use that language on my live streams here? No. But when I'm hanging out with my band, yeah, sure. Occasionally I might say a bad word, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and and that's okay because it's that's the... There, there's no children around and it's just my friends who are the same age as I am and and we're not doing it uh, in a in a in a bad way we're, we're it's just a colloquial um, how do I say it's like a relaxed way of speaking but if my mm -hmm. friend's child comes in the room do I continue to speak like that no mm -hmm. yeah you yeah. know if my nephews um. or my niece are around do I speak like that no you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if they get older and they speak like that, am I going to yell at them? No, because they're older. Once they get older, your language is your choice. And, you know, uh, I don't think that bad words are always bad. I think sometimes mm -hmm. they're what we call colorful. <laughs> yeah. they're colorful words, okay? And sometimes they can be overused. That's true. Yeah. But uh, sometimes they're they're just a part of our lexicon in a very loose way, a very relaxed way. But it's all mm -hmm. about knowing where and when it's appropriate to speak like that. Right. So I don't speak like that when I'm teaching. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Thank you. find the people who speak well. Like if you go to Ted talks, T E D dot com, you know, that website, mm -hmm. you're, yeah, yeah. you're not going to hear any bad language there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, that's a, a learning site. So they they only have people who speak well and they only use people who use appropriate language. So yeah. but if you're watching just some guy in his living room at home, yeah, some guy might do whatever. <laughs> He's going to just speak okay. however he wants. And uh, who knows why people think that it's a good idea to speak like that uh, when they're broadcasting. I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes it's okay, but it, you just have to be more selective, Mustafa. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. It was really helpful. Yeah, just thank remember, you. everybody, YouTube is not a classroom. <laughs> YouTube is just some guy in front of a camera or some girl in front of a camera. 
they'll do all kinds of things. And unfortunately, the people have learned that doing bad stuff gets more attention. Right? So when, yeah. they, when they do bad That's... things on the internet, more people watch, more people click on it, more people comment on it. That's why I'm trying to encourage everybody to understand that if you want the internet to be a good place with good things, then you need to not watch those stupid videos with people doing stupid stuff. When you see a video that you think is stupid, click the button that says, get it, get rid of it. Get, and then that's, it, interesting. that's right. The internet will learn, oh, you don't like that stuff. So it won't present you that stuff anymore. And then the mm -hmm. internet will get better if more people do that. But unfortunately, a lot of people like to watch those really stupid videos of stupid people doing stupid things. And the more they watch them, mm -hmm. the more we get of that. Yeah. That's, and, you that's know, unfortunately, my... a human, you know, it's a human condition. You yeah. Uh, you, you mean it's something that's related to human nature? That... Yeah. It's a human nature thing that we like to watch <laughs> stuff that's not, you know, so like the, the, the prank videos, for example, I hate those things. You know, the videos where it's some oh. kid who, who uh, they walk up to an old man and start yelling at him and saying bad things to this old person. Well, he, that kid has learned that if he helps that old man across the street and makes a video about that, 10 people will watch it. But if he does a video where he runs up to an old man and says all kinds of bad words to him, a million people will watch it. Yeah, and you know, it there is a there is a danger that other people who watch those stuff and you know, there maybe there are kids and they are trying to imitate That's those exactly behavior. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's why I'm saying that it's up to you to mm -hmm help the internet be better by not supporting the stuff that's bad, not supporting the stuff that's rude and weird. And, you know, uh, yeah. So you have to, you have to do that. Understand? You know, I, I, I thought to myself that those bad words are part of the, uh, you know, real English, maybe. Well, they I should are. Never... They are part of the real English, but just... What the podcast I was watching was about the taxes, you know, the taxes in the United States. They they was talking about, debating about taxes, and, you know, they call Interesting. each other well, bad words. I, okay. I don't know. Well, I, I don't want to say those words. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. And I don't want you to. Uh, yeah, so Mustafa... Uh, I'm not sure who you were listening to about that. I will say this: taxes are Sam almost Sander always. Sam and Joe Rogan. You know, there was a debate between Sam Sam Sader and Joe Rogan. Oh, okay. Well, Joe Rogan, yeah, that show he absolutely uses lots of bad words on every show. The, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. And you have to remember that we call that free speech here. You're allowed to say anything you yeah. want, and it's okay. But uh, again. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Joe Rogan anymore because I feel like he doesn't understand the responsibility he has when he's on camera and on microphone. So, yeah, I think that there's a lot of stuff that he promotes during his discussions that are, yeah, they're not good. They're encouraging what I consider to be not great uh, ways of living or being, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. so Joe Rogan is not a place I would recommend. Uh, so that. what's your favorite, what's your suggestion? Which, uh, well, which, if you um, want to watch stuff that, that is good, that is, then I would say, uh, NPR.com, NPR is National, National Public, Public Radio. Radio. So, so those, those are websites, or that, that's a website that has stuff that's definitely all, there's, there's no, no bad language in any of those. I can almost guarantee it. And, and there, there are, are many, many, many podcasts there, right? TED Talks, educational ones like that. Those are good. But it, yeah, mm -hmm. if you're, there are some interview shows. 
Uh, there's another guy who I do watch. His name is Mark Marin, or I do listen to him, not watch. I, uh, Mark Marin. Now, Mark Marin does use some bad language, but I think he does it a little bit more judiciously, where he's not just throwing out bad words all the time. Maybe he says them here and there, and that's part of his personality. Uh, I will say <laughs> one thing. Taxes are always something that everybody wants to use bad words about because <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes taxes, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, even I would probably use some bad words if we're talking about taxes. But, um, you know, yeah, that's just a simple case of Joe Rogan is Joe Rogan. And if you watch or listen to his show, that's what you should expect is that level of language. If that's not what you're looking for, go someplace else. There are many other places you could go where it's going to be uh, less derogatory. Ah, we lost Mustafa. I think it was the time limit. Sorry, Mustafa. Well, don't forget, everybody. Oh, that's a good thing for me to remind you. Go to my YouTube channel because I'm on YouTube live now also. And on YouTube, there's no time limit. Okay. Uh, Murtaza, I, I think I'm audible. Can everybody hear me? And that's right. It's NPR.com. Uh, or, or, no, wait. It might be NPR.org. Let me check. I always forget. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not .com. Not .com. .org. NPR.org. Okay? Um, yeah, sure. I don't know why I said .com. .org. Uh, it's National Public Radio here, okay? So it's a publicly funded uh, site that has news. They have news. Of course, they have news, and you can watch the news there or listen to the news there if you want. And I think it's relatively decent news. Uh, they do a pretty good job of news there. But they also have lots of podcasts about science and culture and food and life and travel and uh, all kinds of things there. Um, so yeah, um, that's a good place to go. Ted, Ted talks, T E D.com. That's a good site for, it's a little difficult. The language is going to be pretty difficult on T E D.com, but it's excellent stuff to listen to with great speak, great speakers who have great ideas. Okay. Is it correct to say the electricity is coming? Uh, well, I could think of a few situations where maybe you could say that, but, but the, uh, what, what are you trying to... I'm not sure what you're trying to say. <clears throat> uh, Miss Misa says we're losing morals. I don't think we're losing morals. It's not that we're losing morals, Miss Misa. Morals have always been the same as, to be honest with you, mor morals are probably better now than they used to be. If you read about history... People used to be really horrible. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're still kind of horrible, but, you know, in the past, people did terrible, terrible, terrible things to each other. Okay, maybe the language was not as bad, but the actions might have been worse. So, uh, it's not that we're losing morals. It's that we're not selective enough about what we encourage and what we watch. So the Internet has everything on it, right? And you could choose to watch good people doing good things in a positive way. Or you can watch stupid people doing stupid things. But human nature is that the stupid stuff gets more laughs. The stupid stuff stuff gets more views. So that's, again, why I'm trying to encourage you to understand one very simple thing about the Internet. The Internet reflects whatever you encourage. So if you click on that, that video of somebody doing something rude, there will be more videos of more people doing rude things. That is how the Internet works. Okay? 
This is one thing we're going to have to fix at some point, but the only way to fix it is if you stop encouraging it. When you watch it, you encourage it, whatever it is. So if you want to encourage positive things in the world, then watch the positive things and support the positive things. But again, that's not the way that we do things. Human nature is that we watch the rude videos of people doing rude stuff and we encourage it and then they get more of it. So that's why there's so much of it on YouTube. Okay, that's not to say that there aren't good things on YouTube. There are, but you have to go find them. And when you find them, support them. That's why I'm trying to tell people here, look, if you like what I do, support me. I could be doing stupid stuff and I could get a lot more views. Okay? If I made a video channel of me walking around the, you know, United States slapping old people in the face, I would get a lot of views. I would get I would be a lot more popular than I am just trying to help people with their English. Do you understand? That's the world we live in. And if you don't want it to be like that, then support me. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, TED is TED is not a website where somebody can practice. It's a it's a website where you can watch videos of very smart people teaching very important concepts. Okay, some of the videos are two minutes long. Some are five minutes long. I think the most long, the longest ones are twenty minutes. I think. Okay, and. Uh, it's a site where they choose only the best teachers who can teach this idea that they have, right? So they find people with great ideas about the world, and they give them a, 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 a microphone and a camera, and they let them teach about this idea. So they have ideas about everything on there, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me go back and make sure I didn't miss any comments here really quickly. How can you improve your fluency? Give some suggestions. Charmin, the best suggestion I can give you is to forget about the word fluent because it doesn't exist. There is, is no, no such, such thing, thing as fluency. fluency. Okay? okay? It's, it's a, a myth. myth. The, the idea, idea, you think, think there's, there's a point, point where you can, can stop. Like, like, oh, well, well I'm, I'm good, good enough, enough here. I'm fluent now. I don't need to learn anymore. I'm good enough. Nope, there is no good enough. Language is something that you start learning from whenever you start, and then you finish when you're dead, okay? You will never get good enough. It's like playing a musical instrument, okay? Nobody who's a professional musician ever says they're done learning a musical instrument. They never say, I'm good enough. They always try to play better. They always try to learn how to be more musical. So you need to forget about the word fluency. That's the first thing I would say. The second thing I would say, Charmin, is the concept that you are trying to say is how can I have more fluidity with my language? And the, if you want to give fluency a definition, then what you should define it as Fluency is the connection between the language in your mind and your ability to use it. Okay? So, language starts in the mind. If you can't think in English, then you can't speak well in English. If you can't think in English, then you can't read well in English. If you can't think in English, then you can't write well in English or listen well in English. Language starts in the mind. So the first thing you need to do if you're learning a language is understand that you need to think in English if you want to speak English well, okay? Benjamin, what about Spanish? What's your question about Spanish? I don't teach Spanish. <laughs> Hello, I've... If there's no electricity and it's about to come, oh, uh, we'll say the electricity will come back on soon okay so we'll say it's going to come back soon or the less electricity will be back on soon okay 
it's off, it will be back on, okay? Athena, hello, Athena, how to overcome procrastination. Do it! You need to imagine that there's like a, you know, a grandmother in your, in your mind and she's always yelling at you because you're lazy. Okay? Or, Athena, I tell people that procrastination is like driving with your hands off the wheel. Okay? When you're driving down the highway, you have your hands on the wheel. And if you take your hands off the wheel, will you crash? Maybe. Maybe not. But if you do crash, you shouldn't be surprised because your hands were off the wheel. Right? So procrastination is like you're taking your hands off the wheel of life. And so if things happen bad, if, if, if bad things happen to you, like, okay, you need to finish this thing, but you didn't. Don't be surprised because you took your hands off the wheel of life. Keep your hands on the wheel, everybody. That's the way to avoid procrastination is you need to understand that there will be a consequence. You will crash. Okay? If you take your hands off the wheel for a few seconds, maybe it's okay. But if you do it for two minutes, there's a good chance you're going to go off the road and crash. Right? Hello, Andrew. Hello, Yuri. How to think in English? Uh, well, uh, if you can, you should go to my YouTube channel because I have a five-minute video on my YouTube channel about how to think in English. Okay? Uh, but start with simple things, Jesse and Annie. So, for instance... In America, I live here, but if I'm hungry, I can think, oh, well, dude's, uh. If I'm tired, I think, oh, well, how lay. If I need to go to the store, I can think, well, she ought to shangdian. So when you are hungry, don't think, well, dude's, uh. Think, I'm hungry. Think, I like this, I don't like that. I want this, I don't want that. Think like a baby. Start like baby English. What do babies think about? How do they feel? I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm sad, I'm happy. What do they want? I want food, I want this, I don't want this. What do they, they uh, like? I like this, I don't like that. What do you need? I need to brush my teeth. I need to make breakfast. Those are simple, simple things to do, but you don't do it. You think all of those things in your native language. Stop. Stop thinking simple thoughts in your native language. Start thinking all the simple thoughts that you can in English. Okay? Yes, Iman, if you go to my YouTube channel, then there will be no time limit, and I'm on YouTube and HelloTalk at the same time. So I have people over here on one screen. Uh, Andrew and Yuri and Flavia and Miguel and Cham Cham are all over here on my YouTube, and I can talk to them also. And then over here I have my HelloTalk. So they're both live at the same time. Okay. All right, let me see if there's somebody else I can talk to. Who else wants to raise their hand and talk with me? Come talk to me. Raise your hand. <clears throat> Chris wants to talk to me. Let's talk to Chris. Hello, Chris. Yeah. Can we talk? Sure. That's why I brought you on stage. How are you? Mm. Oh. Um, are you a teacher? I am a teacher. Oh, your voice is very good. I th uh uh we're uh I'm live in Beijing, I'm a Chinese. So mm -hmm. um I want to improve my English by the Hello Talk. So uh, mm, uh, do you like, uh, do you know 
uh, the China about China. Yes, I lived in Taiwan for four years. 我会说中文。哦，啊，所以我我知道，我知道。你现在我可以，嗯，我可以看你。我觉得你，如果你想。你想用中文，需可是如果你要说英文，你需要想英文，听得懂吗？嗯 ，I want to learn English. Okay, yeah. Well, that's the way to、mm. learn. Is you need to think in English. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so what, what do you do? do? How old are you, Chris? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. okay. What do you do? You Uh, my job is、uh, about computer. I'm a software engineer. Ah,、oh, okay. All right. And you live、mm. in Beijing. Yes,、okay. I live in Beijing. And what do you do for fun? For fun. Hmm. You like to do what? Oh, I like. Hmm.、Uh, ping pong. Ping pong. And, okay.、Uh, Yes, and swimming. Okay, all right. Ah,、uh, and uh, uh, read some book. Okay,、all、read、right. some book. Reading. Ah,、uh, 就这些吧 Okay, all right. <laughs> Do you want to ask me any other questions? Uh, 你 Ah,、uh, let me think. Okay. Hmm.、Uh, uh, do you like? Ah.、Uh, uh, what? What? What do you like? Ah.、Uh, do you like? Ah.、Uh, which city? Which city do you like in Ah、uh, China? Uh, well, I haven't been to mainland China. I've been to Hong Kong, Shanghai, and I've been to Taiwan.、Oh. I lived in Taiwan for four years, so I love、oh. all of Taiwan. Was great. I lived in Taichung, and I've been to Taipei and Kaohsiung and Niaoli and、uh, Taichung and、uh, lots of places in Taiwan.、Uh, so I've been all over Taiwan, but I haven't been to mainland before. So only Hong Kong. Oh. I like Hong Kong、oh, a lot. Oh. oh. And and why why you why uh why are you not、uh, travel to uh China mainland? Uh, well, because traveling to Taiwan is very easy for an American. I don't need a visa. Oh. I can just go. But going to、oh. China is much more complicated. I need a visa and all that, so that's why. Just because it was easy to go to Taiwan. Oh, so yeah,、okay. that's that's why. Yeah, and I was living in Taiwan teaching English. So、oh. yeah, and because、um, I wanted to. Some people, when they go there, they travel, 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 travel all over to all the countries, and that's cool. But I wanted to travel all over Taiwan to learn about Taiwan, you know, because that's where I was living. So I wanted to learn about that place as much as I could、um, while I was there.、Mm. You know, some people they they jump they jump here, they jump there, they they travel everywhere. And that's cool, but then you only get to see a little bit, you know. But if you live、yeah. there and you spend a lot、yes. of time there, then you really understand the people and the culture more. So that's why I spend、mm. most of my time just traveling in Taiwan, and and because、oh. it's it's easy to go there for me, but it's not as easy for me to go to China, to mainland.、Mm. Do you, do you like、uh, Chinese culture? Yeah, sure. Some of it, yeah. <laughs> I like all culture because we are all on the same planet. Woman, do you say nigga dicho? So you will say the woman the one who is the young the, the one who is 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 the one who is
Oh, I are you America? Mm-hmm. Oh. Foreign, American. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I live in the middle of America in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah, Ohio Joe. Oh, Ohio Joe. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. I don't. Uh, I'm not travel, travel, uh, travel, travel to. America. Uh, I don't. I don't want to know. Say that. 我想我没有去过美国 Yeah, you can say I haven't been to America yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't. I haven't been. I haven't to been to America. <laughs> 对啊 Yeah, you got it. Yeah, 我还没去过，我没有去过。Oh yeah, I haven't been.、Mm -hmm. oh, been. That's right. Oh, okay. You got it. Uh, I want to say, um, uh, I want to say, uh, 我想了解美国的文化 How to say? 了解的呃，了解，了解。Oh,、uh, how do how do I say? 知道就是什么 I think I, I want to know, uh, American culture. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can say it that way. Yeah, I want to know American culture. Um, you can learn a lot of American culture from watching TV and movies, but, 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 but,、mm. you must remember, TV and movies are not real. It's not real.、Oh. So, some of what you see is really the way we are, but some of what you see is just the movies, just TV. It's not real, right? So,、uh, sometimes people they watch American TV shows or American movies and they think, "Oh, that must be how they they live." No, <laughs> that's just、oh. TV. That's just movies. You know, some of it, a little bit, is true. A little bit. But、oh. not all. Okay.、Uh, how about the、uh, the New York?、Mm -hmm. New York City, New York. Yeah. I love、uh, New York. Yeah,、uh, it's a great city. Oh. Uh. Can you? Uh. Can you? Uh. Can you speak something about、uh, the New York? Sure. Yeah, New York is a very international city.、Uh, so、mm -hmm. I love New York because if you walk down the street, you can hear people speaking many languages. You might hear Chinese,、oh. and you'll hear Japanese, and you'll hear、uh, Russian, and you'll hear French, and you'll hear Arabic, and you'll hear many, many languages because there's many different people there, and they have every food. Every food that you want to eat, you can eat any kind of food from from around the world. They, they have it somewhere well, in New, New York, York.、Um, but, but New, New York, York is, is very expensive. How cool! Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's very expensive. So、um, that's the only problem I think with New York is it's too expensive. But all of America is very expensive now. So.、Um, But、uh, I love New York. It's very exciting. They have a lot of culture, a lot of different cultures from many countries. Very international,、um, and a lot of entertainment. You know, music and、uh, shows and things that you can go see. Performances, biao yan. Hmm. Uh, I like the. Uh, I like、uh, the music, so、uh, just like、uh, rap,、mm -hmm. rap. Okay, you like Chinese uh, rap or uh, American uh, rap or both? Hmm.、Uh, I like、uh, Eminem. 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 Okay. Yeah, Eminem. Okay. Hmm. Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent. Okay. All right. So you like American rappers? Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, but but I don't like uh, the sounds the sounds uh, words. You know uh, I don't like the sounds words. That mm, I like the music, the uh, rapper music. So uh, uh, I see. Yeah. So you like the feeling of the music. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, Chris, your your English is pretty good. Well, Jada need English boots, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I think my English is worse. Well, it's worse. Jayo, show nang sheng chao. Okay. Um, uh, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. You're welcome. I have, I have to leave. Okay. Yes, thank well, you. have a good night, Chris, and I'll see you next time, okay? I'll see you. Bye bye. Uh, okay, yeah, let's see, John Frank. Uh, let me see if I can get you up here really quickly. Oh, what just happened? Let's try again. Oh, well, that's strange. It says you're on my stage, but I can't see you. <laughs> John Frank, uh, let me try that again. Hold on. Ah, did it again. One more time. Sorry, Jean-Frank. <laughs> okay, now let's try. There he is. Hello, Jean-Frank. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, <laughs> my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good to uh, see you. Excellent. Excellent. I'm doing well. Thank you for inviting me. As always, it's a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> yeah, Glad it's to good see to see you, you again. You know yeah, yeah. What's new? What's new? <laughs> Not so new, I'm working in the same job, but uh, the good thing, uh, I feel like, uh, as always, I've been improving my English. Okay, well, that's yeah. good. Any new problems? Yeah, so, uh, sorry? Any new problems with your English? Well, um, let's see. Um, yeah, there is a, I have a question. It's a word. Um, I struggle to use that word. I mean, if I read the word, if I read the word, like in an article or when I'm reading something, mm -hmm. I understand. But I struggle to use that word. It's the word either. Either. Ah. Either. either. Yeah. Okay. So w w the way we learn that is with. Either or and neither nor. So either okay. is used for positive things usually, and neither is used for negative statements. So you can say, uh, do you want either Coke or Pepsi? Do you want either uh, a sandwich or pizza? So those are two oh, choices that you have that are it's... positive choices. And you could say, I want neither pizza or sandwiches. That's no. I want neither. Okay? So if you're trying oh, to say God. a positive either thing, it's like you use either when we, or, or either. Like when we have several options. That's right. That's one way to use it. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't I'm like, going to... you could say, I don't like either this or that, but that's not as common. Um, so in general, in general, the rule is either is used for positive statements and you can say it, you can say either or either. Both are okay. Both are okay to say. And you could say neither or neither. The pronunciations are both acceptable. I say sometimes I say neither, sometimes I say neither. Sometimes I say either, sometimes I say either. I, I use both. And they mean the same thing. It's just a different way to pronounce them, right? So, yeah, but, uh, so neither is for negative things. Uh, if I say, um, have you been to Japan uh, or... Uh, Tokyo, or I'm sorry, Japan or Korea, Japan or Korea, have you ever been to Japan or Korea? You can send, I, I, I've been to, I, I haven't been to either, or you could just say neither. 
Okay. Okay. So uh, I what, haven't what been to either or what, neither. What would be the most common way? Like, I, I, like neither. Uh, yeah, both are common. Both are common and both are acceptable. Sorry, is it either or not? Both. Both are okay. Yeah, there are two. Neither. There are two ways to pronounce those words. Both. You can write either. I mean, you can, you can say either or you can say either. Okay, and you can also oh. say neither, or you can say neither. Both pronunciations are co totally acceptable. Okay. Okay. Here, here's the thing. I uh, this go because I, I when I did the, the work, and I got a phone call. It was a guy, and you know, I told you that I we were gonna I was a travel agency, and then he this customer asked me about the check-in, like when he, ha he had to do the check-in, you know, before you check your fly, yeah. mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. it's called check-in. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and I told the passenger, like, either, uh, because when you're going to do the check-in, you have to use your passport for mm -hmm. that. I mean, well, uh, the airline staff has to ask you for your passport when you're doing the check-in, you know? Mm -hmm. And this person called me and he asked me, like, how he, how he, he could do the check-in. Then I told our customer, I told the client, like, Either you do the check-in at the airport or the at the airline's website, mm -hmm. you need you're gonna need to you're gonna use your passport. I, I said I said that either you use you do the check-in at the airport or the airline's website. Yeah, they're gonna correct. ask you your passport. That's Did correct. I use it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I either oh, or okay. either or that's for choices. Yeah. When you have two choices, First, then you, here, let me show you. Uh, let's see. No, 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 not that one. Okay. This one. Mostly for positive things. Uh, either yeah. in, is, yeah, usually for positive things. So take a look at this, if you can see. Um, so, for example, person A and person B. This is another way to look at it, right? So, person well, A says, I am not hungry. Human. Oh, can you see it? No, sorry. I mean, it's completely dark. I don't, I don't see. Oh, that's weird. Sometimes can, you can load you, and you make it, it doesn't. Can you guys see it can. on the screen in my audience? Can you guys see the screen? Can you guys tell me, can you guys see anything on the screen? Hello? Yes? Julia says, Julia says yes. Sonal says no. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know why. Um, uh, well, let's see. What can I do then? Um, I can send you the link for it also, uh, but hopefully most of you can see it, I hope. Um, so I'll send you a link for this after I'm finished, okay? Um, but if you say, I am not hungry, you know, if I said, I am not okay. hungry, you could say, neither am I. Okay. That means I'm not hungry either. You could say it two different ways. You can say, neither am I, or I'm not hungry either. Okay. Or I could say, yeah. you aren't trying. And you could say, neither are you. Or you could say you aren't trying either. Okay, so there are always two ways to use these words where you could use the word neither or you could use the word either. But if you say neither, it's just neither am I, neither are you, neither do I, neither do you. Uh, but if you use either, it's I'm not hungry either. You have to say the sentence. You have to say the sentence. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. If you ask me, do you speak, if, if somebody asks you, do you speak Chinese? And then you say, no, I speak Chinese. And then 
I go and I say, neither do I. I don't speak Chinese either. Yes, or neither do I. That's right. That's exactly right. You've got neither. it. That's right. Both are, that's two ways to say it. One way would be, I don't speak Chinese either, or neither do I. Okay. You know, this, this is the beauty of the language. I mean, you, you, you're, we are able to many things in different ways. That's exactly right. That's and, one thing that makes English a little complicated sometimes is you need to remember there's never just one way. <laughs> there are always many ways to say this thing. You have to be creative sometimes and you have to think about it. Sometimes we'll ask, you know, yeah. today somebody asked me, what's the difference between buy and purchase? There is no difference between buy and purchase. They mean the same thing. So you could say, I They're want to buy this, I they want are to purchase synonyms. this. That's right. They're synonyms. And that's, again, part of the beauty of the language is that there's more than one way to say the same thing. Okay, so... Yeah, what happened is because we think, we tend to think the language is something that has to be, like, specific. I mean, the way you say something has to be, like, we, we tend to think that there is only a way to say something, actually... There are many ways you can say something. Right. Yeah. So, so um, if I yeah. say, uh, I don't need help, you could say, neither do I. Or you could say, oh, I, don't I don't need help don't either. either. Right. If I say, I don't like fish, you could say, neither do I. Or, Got I don't like fish do either. I. Okay. Or if you say, if you say, I'm tired, right? Because I can say, like, neither. Uh, if you say, if I say, I'm not tired, then you can say, neither am I. Neither am I. Right? Okay. If I say, I am tired, then you'd have to say, me too. That's, that's, that's a positive statement. There's no either that you could use with that. If, unless, uh, so it has to be with two things that are the same, right? So oh, I you see. Understand? I, I see. That's why you say neither mostly in sentences because That's you right. can say I'm not hungry. I can say neither. Right. That's exactly right. Those are two things that are identical. I'm I'm not hungry, and you're also not hungry. So you're not hungry either, or neither am I. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, if I say, I can't swim, neither can I, okay? Or, I or can't I can, swim. I cannot, I cannot swim either. Right, exactly. You got it. You got it. I didn't like this yeah. book. Neither did I. Or, I didn't like this book either. Okay? Great. All right. Right. So that's how you use it. And again, there's a really great page. I wish you could see it so you could, you know, there's a lot of examples here. And I, I will try to put the link up here for everybody so you guys can try to find that link too. Um, one moment. Let me see if I can get that. Sorry, I cannot see the picture, but, oh, no, well, I can see now yeah, here. Let me, let me try to see <laughs> if I can send this on Let's try this. Uh, let me try to share it one more time in a different way. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Why is it not letting me to go full screen? Okay. So let's see if I can share it this way now. Maybe this will be different. Ah, what's going on? Am I frozen? No. Huh, something's weird. It won't let me share now. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Yeah. No. Wait. Yeah, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, the, the page is stuck. stuck. Give, Give me a minute. minute. I'll, I'll be right back. back. Wait, wait one minute. minute.
Ah, there I am. Okay, now let's see if I can try it now. Let's try this. Can you see that now? Mm, I don't see it. Mm. You still can't see it. Well, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, here is the link, everybody. If you want the link, uh, it's right here. So if you can't see it, then you can go to this page. And they have a good explanation about either or and neither nor. Okay? <clears throat> Actually, this is just either and neither. But, um, yeah, and then we always have to remember that if you use the word either, you always have to use the word or with it. If you use the word neither, you always have to use the word nor with it. So you could say, I, I like... Uh, I don't like pizza, or, or let me think. I, I neither, I'm sorry, I neither like pizza nor cheese. I neither like chocolate nor potatoes, whatever, right? So I mean, neither nor. Okay. If I say I, I, like, I neither like pizza nor... Yeah, you could, I don't you, know. Yeah, you could say I it that way too. I don't, li I don't like both things. Yeah, you could say it that way, but usually we pair them together with the word neither and nor, right? So you could say, I don't like pizza nor chicken. You can do that. But you can also say, I neither like pizza nor chicken. Same thing. Oh. Okay? Or if you're trying to say a positive thing, uh, you know, uh, maybe they give you a choice. Do you want to eat chicken or pizza? And you could say... Either chicken or pizza are okay. Either chicken or okay, okay. Okay. Or I, I can just I I can say the word either if you yeah if you, you could just me, say either. That's why right. are you gonna like that's you, right. You give me you could just say either is fine or either. That's right. Yeah, that means oh. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a. I I have it clear now. Yeah, thank you. Cause You're welcome. Yeah, that's a good I, lesson to learn. I I remember. Let me share an anecdote. I remember as he was taking me to eat her he her flight. Sorry, her. She was asking me to change the day of her flight, and then when for, when we started. She asked, could you please change my flight to the 16th? Mm -hmm. And then uh, to March 16th. And then I asked her, what time is her, like morning time or, or evening time? And then she said, either. Right. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, what either she just means, means that, that doesn't matter. I was like, yeah, either means I it doesn't asked, matter. Both are okay. Yeah, either in that okay. case means both are okay. It wouldn't. It makes no difference. Yeah, that's what it means. Okay. It makes no difference. Okay. Okay. I don't, or if sense. they say neither, that means both are bad. Oh, at the same way. You say either or both are okay. Or the neither same way, is both are bad. It's the opposite. That's like, right. You don't want pizza and you don't want pizza. That's exactly right. It. That's exactly right. You got I'm it. In. All right, John okay. Frank. Well, thanks for coming up and asking that question because I think that was a good lesson for everybody. And hopefully you can go yeah. to that link and, uh, you know, find that, that page that I just put up for everybody. Uh, Woodward English. They have a lot of really good... Uh, simple um, pictures that you can look at that explain topics. And they have a really good one for neither and either. Okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. My, as always, it was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, Likewise. See you. Likewise. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go back and see. Is she still here? Where is she? Uh, fish, are you still there, Fish? There's Fish. 
And hello, Belen. Hello. Hello, Fish. How are you? <laughs> oh my God, I'm fine. Hello. What's wrong? Are you afraid? Don't be afraid. You're just talking to a person. Oh my God, it's my first time joining your <laughs> live stream. <laughs> okay, well that's okay. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. And did you have a question for me or something you want to ask me about? Uh, I have a question. Uh, how I think, how I improve my spoken English. Uh, I listen. Uh, just now you say you. Uh, I I I need to. The, I need to think in English, but I don't know how to start it. Well, Can, let me see. Just, yeah, um, one moment. Let me see. I think I have my, my stuff written down here. Let me find it. I'll find my notes, and maybe you can see my notes. Oh, see where it is. Yeah, one moment. There it is. Let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, one moment. I can, I, I can see you. You send. Can you see it now? Oh, I see them. Okay. Oh, so I... this is how to think in English, everybody. <clears throat> so step oh. one. Step one is what we call baby English. Okay. What, baby English. What do babies think about? Babies think about their feelings. I feel sad. I feel tired. I feel hungry. Right. Babies think about their emotions. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm angry. I'm tired. Whatever. Right. Simple things like their emotions and their feelings. Right. Babies think about what they want. I want food. I want water. You know, they think about simple things like that or their needs. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to eat. Right. And then likes and dislikes. I like chocolate, but I don't like potato chips, whatever, okay? So that's step one, is simple English. Try to use all the simple things in English, in your mind. So, so don't, don't think, think, oh, well, dude's uh, uh, think I'm hungry. Okay. I'm hungry. Right. I, you can do that. I'm very day. hungry. <laughs> right. Good, good. I'm starving. <laughs> that's good, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Those are things that you can think. You already can do that. All of you probably can think these simple thoughts. Every day you have these simple thoughts, but you're using your native language. Stop. Stop doing that. Start using English for all the simple thoughts in your head. Right. So what do you want to do? I want to go to the store. I need to go to the bathroom. I like coffee. I don't like uh, sports, whatever. Simple things. And if you don't know how to say it, then you know what you need to study. OK, mm -hmm. so just okay. like a baby in the beginning, a baby, they look around and they say, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say that. Jigga some ashore, jigga some ashore, jigga some ashore. Right. But mm -hmm. you can write them down and say, oh, well, I don't know how to say, oh, teacher, oh, there's a car. Oh, that's a car. OK, now I know. That's how you can improve your language. OK, there's a famous okay. painter named Rembrandt. A French painter, and he said, use what you know, and you will learn now what you do not know. So use the English that you have, and it will help you to learn what you don't know and what you need to learn, okay? So baby English is step one. And babies don't know grammar, so don't worry about grammar. Babies don't know grammar. They don't care about grammar. So just try to use your simple baby English mind and think baby English as much as you can, okay? Step two is who, what, when, where, why, and how questions, okay? So if you go to the store, then I want you to think who is at the store, who works at the store, 
uh, who owns this store? Or what what does this store have? What do they sell? What do they do? When does this store open? When does this store close? Where is this store? Can you give directions to the store? Right? Why do we need stores? Right? Ask as many questions as you can and answer them if you can. And if you can't, then every time you find something that you don't know how to say, write it down. That's your homework. Okay? And this method is really great because this is your life. You're living your life. And now you can find all the things that are in your life that you don't know how to say in English. Okay? It's a little scary. It's a little scary because sometimes you feel like, oh, there's too much. I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to say that. It's okay. The more you do it, the better it will get. Okay, but you have to start. So that's step two is everywhere you go, think those question words. If you go to the store, think question words. If you go to the park, think question words. If you go to work, think question words. Okay, who works here? What do they do? When do they work here? All those things. Okay, step three is simple topics, simple topics. Like family, can you think about your family in English? Can you think about uh, all of your family? And can you tell me, you know, what do what do your parents do? What is their job? Where do they live? How old are they? Uh, what does your father like to do for fun? Do you have any brothers or sisters? What are they like? How old are they? Right. Think, mm. think about friends. Can you think about your friends in English? Who is your best friend? Why are they your best friend? Uh, where did you meet them? Okay. Hobbies, your interests. What do you like to do for fun? Can you think about those things in English? So simple topics like family, friends, hobbies, interests, your work, past, present, future. Those are simple things that you can start to think about. Now, when you get to step two and step three, you do need some grammar. Some. Okay? So that means you have to try to use the grammar that you've learned in your books with these questions and with these topics. Okay? Step one, you don't need to worry about grammar. Step two, you need a little bit of grammar. Right. Step three, you need a little more grammar. OK. And step mm -hmm. three, if you can do step one, step two and step three, that's a lot. That's a lot of thinking in English. OK. Step four is very difficult. That's advanced topics like medicine. Can you think about medicine and, and uh, economics or religion or science or politics? Those are very difficult things to think about, e even in your native language, right? So that's very hard. Don't worry about step four. Worry about step one, step two, and step three, okay? If you can get to step three, then you're doing very, very well with your thinking, Okay, step one, baby okay. English. Step two, question words. Step three, topics. Okay? Okay. Okay. So that's uh, how you learn how to think in English. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I want to ask another question is uh, about the reading. Uh, when I say a long sentence i don't know how to analyze the status that's uh, i can't i cannot uh read it uh you know <laughs> Take your time. It's okay. uh, oh, yes uh, okay, if, it's, long if, it, if it's long well here's one thing i will tell you if you're trying to read books if you have um, trouble, get the audio book. Audio book? What, yeah. what is it? 你可以听他们说什么. 
Okay, it means oh. the, the reader, the, the author of the book, maybe, they will read it for you. So you can read and listen at the same time. And then you can hear a native speaker read the sentence for you, right? So now you know what it's supposed to sound like, okay? Now, some books, the sentences are very long and difficult, okay? Yes, yes. But... Uh. Maybe that means that book might be a little bit too hard for you. So try something that's a little bit simpler, okay? More easy, all right? If you're reading a book and you have one page, if you have one, one page, page, yeah, each, uh, yeah, each, yeah. If you, you have, have one, one page up, and there are 25 new words on that page, that's, that's too hard for you. If, if there, there are 50 words, words on that page, that's too hard for you. One page uh, should have 10 to 20 new words. No more. No more than that. Only 10 to 20 new words. Okay? That's a good level of reading for anyone. That level, if you have maybe 10 words on one page, that's good. That means you're improving your vocabulary, but it's not too hard that you can't understand the reading. But if every word is new, that's too much. You can't understand, right? Oh, I uh, know. And I have another uh, question. I, I have difficult in, in English. Okay, well, the first thing you need to understand about listening is that you have to listen to people who speak well. So right now, you can understand me well, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's because I'm a teacher and I'm trying to sound good. I'm trying to speak well. But if you go on YouTube and listen to some guy, that's just some guy. He's not a teacher. He doesn't know language well. He's not trying to speak well. So you have to think about it like if you learn the piano, when you learn to play piano, right, they um, don't, they don't tell you, you should listen to everyone who plays piano. No, they tell you, you should listen to the best. Listen to the people who play piano really well. Use them as your models, okay? So if you want to speak well, then you need to find people who speak well and listen to them. But listen don't, to them. Yeah, don't listen to people who speak poorly, if you speak, if you're listening to people who don't speak well, that's not good for you. Okay? Focus on people who speak very well first. Okay? In the beginning, you cannot understand everyone because not everyone speaks well. Okay? Same thing is true for my Chinese. I can mm -hmm. understand Chinese okay, but if somebody speaks too fast and maybe they, their accent is very different and maybe they use some language I don't know, then I can't understand them. But if I mm. listen to somebody who speaks very clearly and very well, then I can. Okay? So the, sometimes the problem is not me. It's that the person I'm listening to doesn't speak very clearly. Okay? Now, do I want to understand everybody? I do want to, but I can't. Okay? And that's true for every language everywhere in the world. You are not going to be able to understand everyone who speaks English. You will be understand you'll you'll be able to understand the people who speak well first. And the more you listen, then you'll start to understand people who speak you know, maybe not so well later. But first, you have to focus on people who speak well. 听得懂 ma? 听得懂,就是要找那些口音没有那么重的人学英语。对. <laughs> right, so focus on that. It's just like learning a musical instrument, okay? If I learn the piano, maybe my neighbor plays piano, but not well. Should I go listen to my neighbor? No. <laughs> no, I should listen to other people who play piano very well and focus on them, use them as my model. So you have to have good models first. 
Find a good model. Find people who speak well. If you, if you go on the internet and you find somebody and you say, wow, I understand them, and they speak really well, focus on them. But if you find somebody who doesn't speak well, don't worry about it. That's not always your problem. So if I speak like this, watch, I'm going to mumble. Mumble is a word that means to not speak clearly because you're not moving your mouth very much, right? So I'm going to say, oh, uh, tomorrow I think I want to go to the park because maybe I'll go to the park, I'll do this. Yeah, that's not speaking well, but sometimes people speak like that, okay? Yeah, okay. sometimes I think I should also teach native speakers how to speak more clearly because native speakers of English, they often have to work with people from other countries now, but native speakers also don't understand that if you don't move your mouth enough, you won't speak clearly. So I also tell my Chinese students or other students who speak other languages English is a big mouth language, so you have to use a big mouth to sound this clear. All right? Just like when I say mumbling, mumbling means I'm not moving my mouth very much like this, so it's not very clear. Right? Maybe you can understand, but you can understand me like this very well. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have any other questions for me, Fish? No, no, no. Okay. This is okay. 就, 就是我最近在学英语的一些困扰 I don't know how to say in English. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for now, I think, is what you can say. <laughs> so, um, okay, Fish, thank you for coming on my stage, and I'll talk to you next time, okay? See you next time. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, okay, let's see. Did I miss any comments or questions? Hello, Bellin. Good to see you. Uh, someone told you that purchase and buy are different. Uh, n purchase is only different because purchase can be a noun or a verb. I want to purchase this thing. It's a little bit more formal than buy, but other than that, it means exactly the same thing. But purchase can be a noun also. This is my purchase means these are the things that I bought or this is the thing that I bought. Okay, so uh, I want to buy this. I want to purchase this. They mean the same thing. The only difference is that purchase would be a little bit more formal, but not a lot more formal, a little, little more. It means the same thing, though. Okay, but uh, buy can be a noun sometimes, but uh, only, I think, I would say only informally, right? If I said, this is my buy. buy. That's, That's people will understand you, but it's not formally correct, I would say. But, but this is my purchase means this is the thing that I bought, or these are the things that I bought. Okay? All right. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, everybody. My YouTube channel has uh, no time limit. So if you join there, then you won't get kicked out, okay? And you can also uh, watch my live streams this live stream is all is on YouTube live right now, and when it's finished, it will be uploaded to YouTube. So if you want to listen to this live stream again, you can go to YouTube and watch it again. And I have many, many live streams there that you can watch and listen to, okay? Uh, and yes, TED Talks are very good for learning English and listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dipali, how can you become fluent in English? Go to my YouTube channel and watch. That's how. <laughs> Dipali, that's a very big question. A long time ago, my teacher told me that some questions are not good questions because sometimes you're asking a question that's too big, right? He told me, if someone wrote a book about it, it's not a good question to ask, right? So people have written books about how to become fluent in English. <laughs> there are books about that subject. No one can answer that question quickly, okay? 
If you want to, go to my YouTube channel, and there are many videos you can watch with many tips about how to become fluent in English, okay? All right? But it would be better if you try to think about a more specific question about what, what problems you have with English. What are your weaknesses? What are your difficulties in English? Ask me about those. Don't just say, how can I become fluent in English? How can I become fluent in Hindi? <laughs> that's, that's also a question you can't answer quickly. That would take me days to answer how to become fluent in English. Okay? Thank you, Iman. You're welcome, Sanal. Uh, can you also say me neither? Yes, you can. Yeah. If you're trying to say uh, that you don't like something, so I don't like this, well, me neither. Yeah. How many hours per day should you speak in, in English in order to become fluent in five years' time? Uh, well, Zebra, I would say it's not as important how many hours you speak. It is more important how many hours you think in English. The more you start thinking in English, the more fluent you will become faster. Okay? It's all about starting in the mind. Language starts in the mind. If you want to be fluent, you've got to use quality in thinking. That's exactly right. And the best part about that is... When you ask me a question like how many hours per day, nobody has a lot of time to practice anything when you're an adult and you have jobs and you have family and things like that, right? We don't have time to do five hours a day of something, but if you learn how to think in English, you can think all day while you're living your life. Right? So all the things you normally do in your daily life, you still do them. But you do them in a different language, English. And then you can practice all day. Understand? Okay? Oh, Athena, you're so sweet. Yes, you can buy lessons from me, too. Yeah, if you go to my profile, you can buy lessons from me. Okay? And by the way, I have a new website coming soon. It's not yet finished. I think it will be finished on the 1st of April. I was hoping it would be finished now, but I'm, it's still not ready. I still need to fix a few things and add a few things. But on my new website, that's where my lessons will be from April on. So if you want to buy lessons from me right now, you can go to Hello Talk and buy them. But in the future, in April or around then, I'm going to have a new website that you can go to, and uh, that's where I will have my lessons. <clears throat> what time do I give lessons? Usually every day. Uh, usually I start around 8.30 or 9 or 9.30 a.m. Uh, New York City time. So that means if you live in Beijing time, that's going to be 8.30 or 9 or 9.30 p.m. for you. Okay. And usually it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. Okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm here. Okay. Uh, hello, Natalia. All right. Uh, I have time for at least one more person. Uh, please remember what I said. Go follow my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel is the way that I'm actually going to be able to make money. I can't make money here. Okay, I don't make money here. But I can if you go to my YouTube channel. So please make sure you follow my YouTube channel also. All right? That's how you can support me and make sure that I stay here. Okay? You, you have to remember what I said earlier. If you find something good, support it. Okay? Because there's a lot of negative stuff on the Internet, and it gets a lot of attention and a lot of support. But when you find somebody who's just doing something good and positive, those people have a much harder time getting support because it's human nature. We, we watch the bad stuff. We support the bad stuff because it's, it's interesting to us somehow. It's intriguing to us to see bad things. So we always click on the videos that are bad. Well, they don't need help. The people who are doing positive stuff in the world, they need the support. 
And if you want more positive things in the world, then you better support the ones that you see. Okay? Uh, it's still not making me anything yet, Zebra, but I'm working on it. After my, I, I had to shift my focus a little bit, and I had to focus on my website for now. So every day I've been building and working on my website. And once that's finished, then I'll go back to focusing on my YouTube and some other things, too. I don't even know how close I am. I'm not even sure how it works. <laughs> It's not good, but I'll figure it out soon. I'm going to probably have to find somebody who can help me with that a little bit when I'm ready. But I will do that at some point. Uh, okay, I have time to talk with one more person. Who wants to talk with me? Raise your hand if you have a question. Or just tell me you want to come on my stage and I'll invite you. I've just about finished my coffee, so it's just about time for me to go. So if you want to talk to me, now's the time. Anyone? Hello? Bueller? I'm waiting. Nobody has the bravery to come up and speak with me. Am I really that scary? Uh, you got info to get somebody and make all your videos in one place and you'll meet. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I'm going to do it soon. Actually, I've been preparing for the videos soon. I have all these ideas that I want to put on video, right? Like how to think in English and how to, you know, work on your accent and all these different ideas. I have to make videos for them and I'm doing it soon. I promise. Uh, okay. I hope so, Zebra. I hope so. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Who wants to talk to me? Mendry. Uh, Mendry, well, let me talk to Athena very quickly, because she's my good friend. Oh, Athena, where'd you go? I was just about to choose you. All right, well, let me talk to Mendry for just a minute then. <clears throat> Mendry, do you want to come talk to me? Hello, Mendry. Hi. Hello, how are you? Hi, Mr. Mr. Mark. Nice oh, to I'm meet fine. You. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yeah. What can I do for you today? It's it's an honor to be with you. Well, thank you. What? I said, what can I do for you today? Do you have a question for me? Yes, yes. How, how, how to improve your, your English? How to improve your English? Oh, it's, it's a great time. I'm yeah, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I can hear that. Uh, so I'm going to just put you on mute for just a minute. <laughs> So uh, I think you said, how can you improve your English? Which, that's a big question, Mendry. That's a big question. Um, so, uh, Mendry, I would say that if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll find many, many, many videos there that have tips. Okay, there's one video called Teacher Mark's Essential English Tips. That has a lot of great tips on it about how to improve your English. But... I have many of these recorded live streams on my YouTube. It's right here, Muhammad. That's my YouTube channel right there, okay? Go to my YouTube channel and you can watch a lot of live streams just like this one. It's good practice for your listening and you can hear many people ask me questions and I answer them. So yeah, you can uh, find uh, a lot of great tips there, okay? So, Mendry, did that answer your question? 
Yes, I have another one. Okay. I'll try to hear uh, it. What is the most things uh, uh, sh sh should I uh, focus on? Listening or uh, reading? Or okay. So, uh, the answer I have for what should you focus on, it depends on two things. One, what are your priorities, Mendry? So some people, they're trying to learn English to pass the IELTS test or the TOEFL test. And if you're doing that, then you need to focus on all of them, right? But some people are just learning English because they want to talk with people. So maybe you just need to work on speaking mo mostly. Maybe some people are trying to work on English because they want to read English books. So then you should focus on reading. So the first thing you should think about is, what are my priorities? What's my goal for learning English? That's the first thing. And the second thing is you should always focus on your weaknesses. Focus on your weaknesses, okay? So that means that if you're good at speaking and you're good at listening, that's not what you need to work on. You need to work on your reading and your writing because maybe that's your weakness. Those are your weaknesses, okay? So... Always focus on your weaknesses, not on your strengths. Most students don't do this. Most students focus on the things that they're already good at because it's easy and it feels good. But if you want to get good at something, if you want to become good at something, you cannot become good at something without working on the things that you're bad at. If you keep working on the things you're already good at, you're not going to get better. Not really. Okay? So that's my answer is, one, what's your priority in learning? And two, what are your weaknesses? Focus on that. Okay? Understand, Mendry? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're welcome, my friend. Is, is that all I, can, I, I need to do for you yes, today? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, take care, Mendry, and I'll see you next time, then, okay? Yes. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, let's see. You're with your family, Belen. Well, tell everybody I said hello. Hello, family. How to think in English when you speak English. Well, Sandy, I've already answered that question a couple of times today. So what you should do is go to my YouTube channel and watch this video today. I'm going to upload it as soon as I'm finished here. And you can see about my answer for how to think in English. There's also a five-minute video that you can find on my YouTube channel that has how, how to think in English. Okay, here, I can give you that link now. Okay, and yes, I know that t t Chinese people are not supposed to use YouTube, and, and I get that, but somehow there's magic, and some people do use my YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. It's magic. So here... If you go to this link, this is a five-minute video that will teach you how to think in English. Okay? What time do I stream? I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I usually start around 9 a.m., 8.30, 9, 9.30 a.m., USA, New York City time. New York City time, Eastern Standard Time. time. Okay, okay, so Muhammad, that's, that's going to be sometime in the afternoon for you, maybe around 4 o'clock, I think, maybe, something like that. Depends on where you live. You're in Egypt. Okay? Okay. Uh, well... Uh, I guess that's going to be about it here for me today, everybody. Uh, so please, again, um, uh, well, Monica and Peggy, uh, <laughs> it's possible. It can be done. It can be done. You should talk to your friends, maybe, and see if they know how. Okay? 
but it is possible. All right. Um, so uh, once again, here it is that this is my YouTube channel here. Uh, and you can follow it there, all right? Um, and watch my videos, please. Share my videos, please. Comment on my videos, please, okay? Because, again, if you don't support me, then I can't keep being here. I can't keep teaching, all right? I can only be here if you support me, all right? So you have to go and follow my videos, and you have to leave some comments for me and support me, all right? That's all you need to do is just watch the videos, share the videos, comment on the videos, like the videos. It's not difficult, okay? All right, everyone. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following. I'm going to go have some lunch now, and uh, I will see you guys next time, all right? So don't forget to be a language warrior, and have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. Annie, you got to come back and see me on Monday and ask me your question about pronunciation then, okay? Maybe I'll have a pronunciation stream on Monday. No, E-I, I live in Ohio. I live in Ohio, Joe. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I live in the middle of the United States. L.A. is on the West Coast, okay? But I'm on New York City time. Same time as New York City. Okay, I don't live in New York City, but it's the same time zone as New York City. Okay? Eastern Standard Time. Okay, everybody, take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you guys in my YouTube channel as well. Bye.